Hey guys, I'm going to do a little uh, new video where I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So as you can see here, I'm squatting. <clears throat> That's pretty obvious. But what I wanted to get to is that if you can see how I'm digging my hands into the bar, it's a, it's a thing that I do every single time. I don't like to get under the bar unless I feel like my hands are part of the bar. And the same thing with my back. You see that I, my right foot is back and my left foot is forward, and that's always the same. And I'm starting to jam that bar into position. If you look close, you'll actually see the bar bend, how much pressure I'm putting on there to really jam it in there. And I don't, I don't unrack unless I'm ready to go. Now that I unracked, I took my normal three steps. I get my breath up. I lock in my back. Elbows are down. Starting with the hips. Coming on up. It's the first week of... Um, like a peaking. Uh, it's going to be eight weeks for this peak. It's a pretty long peak, but I wanted to kind of slow and and, and uh, not risk any kind of injury. And uh, this is 455 here for the uh, first set, which is a pretty easy. And that was at about a uh, eight eight point two five for me. Again, you can see me locking that bar into my back. I mean, this should be you should be methodical. You should be like a robot at this point. Uh, uh, everything should be the same. Uh, you can see that, that three-step walk back again. I don't even look down when I'm checking my feet. Uh, I, I don't even check my feet. And uh, this is a better angle to really see how everything's going. The shins are as vertical as I can get them. Uh, you know, there's debate on that, but I like to keep them as vertical as I can while keeping my torso at, you know, a nice good ramp angle. Here's another type of angle that uh should be able to see same thing you'll you'll notice every single set i'm jamming that bar in i don't go until i'm ready until i feel like i'm basically part of that bar and here's you'll see that as i i push my hips through i'm not lifting i'm pushing my hips through to pick the weight up and the same three steps every time don't even look down i let the bar the bar settle on my back take my breath push the elbows down and it's the same every single time, no matter the weight. That second set that you saw, that was 495. This is 520 for the top set. You'll see that my hips kind of, they come up a little bit first. And that's, uh, you know, that's okay. Um, I'd like to fix that. I, I'd like to be perfect. And uh, you can definitely see it there. The hips kind of shot backwards. And, uh, you know, I got a little forward, but uh, not as bad. Anywhere near as bad as I used to be. Um... And a lot of that has to do with me doing a lot of high bar work and, uh, you know, really helping fix that. That's me uh, tapping the weight and saying, hey, you know, I missed you. It's, I missed you 500 plus pounds. It's been a while. This is actually the first week I've done anything over 80%, so uh, that's pretty good. These are, uh, these are the high bars. These are after reverse band work and pin squats. Uh, these are just to really, uh, you know, High bars usually work people's quads, and and that's what they use them for. But for me, <clears throat> my you know my injuries are, are were pretty bad, and uh, you know I wasn't able to do 135 with high bar without severe pain or, or having it be very hard and heavy for me. Uh, this is 315, no belt, and I've specifically been doing no belt for for that reason, and uh, it's it's made my deadlift and my squat go up already. I can tell. And I can't wait to, to peak in about nine weeks. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And the shirt you're looking at is going to be for sale real soon. Thanks, guys.